making a um, video of my wolf garden um, tools that are all made in Germany. Now, some of them came from when Home Depot used to carry them. And then some of them I got from Amazon, and then some of them I got from another website. But you can buy them straight from the website. Now, this right here, um, if they got, I think, up to seven different coatings on them. The last coating is zing. And I have literally left these things out in the rain for like a month. And they don't even rust or nothing. What this is for, is this is for getting into your grout lines on um, your um, um, walkways and stuff and cleaning all the weeds out. Is what this is for, it's to, to scrape all that out. You do it this way and then you got this way to break it. It scrapes it out. You can get one that ain't handheld. You can get one that attaches to one of the handles. Or you can get one that has um, bristles to it that you replace. That's that. It's a grout scraper. For your walkways and pad and, and whatever, you know. This is their leaf rake. Same thing. You don't have a handle. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. But I've had that for years. This is for when you're doing your garden. You scrape it this way. And it creates those rolls to put all the um, seeds in for your fruits and vegetables that you're going to plant. And one thing, the old models had this style on it right here. which is, And then the new models have the rounded style. Now the way they spell Wolf Garden is different than, uh, than we spell it. They actually, um, 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 they spell it like that. That's how they spell it. If you can see that, which is G A R T E N, you know, that's how they spell it. They leave that D out, you know. This right here is actually a tiller. This part right here digs in the ground and it only goes a certain depth and you'll stop, you know. And then you can't go in and it'll dig and it'll pull weeds and stuff out while these do what a tiller does. Which is another one. And this really, really works. Works really, really good. This is the G-Grip handle. They have one that's a little bit longer than this. I don't own it yet, you know. They have two different size telescoping ones. They even have one with a wooden handle. That I don't have. But that's the G-Grip. This is how the um, tools work. You just snap them on. And you create the rake. You unsnap it and you're done. Another thing is with these is um if they break, you just take it um you just call the company and they'll send you a free one free of charge. I don't know how long the warranty is. I can't. Oh, it's a t it's actually a ten year warranty that they have on them. What it has, and um yeah, they have a ten year warranty. They make um they make they make all kinds of stuff for. Scraping off snow off your roof, all kinds of stuff, you know. This is their bow rake. They have different size bow rakes. They haven't even had many one. I've had this for years. I think I've had this for like 20 something. I think like 25 or, or something years. I can't remember how long. I can't remember exactly how long I've had it. I've actually have had one to replace and I took it to um, Home Depot and they used to carry it at the time and they replaced it free of charge. This is a little shovel or trowel, whatever you want to call it, for doing your work. Comes in handy. And it's got the new grip on it. This is their mini rake for when you're getting in tight corners and stuff. And this is one of the newer style handles that some of them come with. I had one that looked like this. It just had teeth for breaking up soil and stuff. This is one of their old style handles. One of the real old ones. Back from 2000 and something. I think like 2002 or 2003. Somewhere like that. This is their um, broom. I forgot what kind of style broom they had. They had one that's smaller than this. Then they have one that's for um, decks, and then one that's for patios, and one that's for indoors. You can actually get a broom and a dustpan you can put on the handles, which is neat. Now, this is really handy. I 
don't really know the term of this, but you got this side for digging, and then you got this side, it's dual-headed. I can't remember the term of the name of it. If you know what it is, you tell me that this really works. This is for removing those little yellow uh, weeds in your yard, and this one's out of the yard. You just stick it in, and you turn it until you get all the way up to this little part, and then you just pull up. And it takes everything, the root and all, right out. It'll take a thistle, a real thick thistle out. Any kind of weeds that have got those thick roots, it'll take it right out. This is one of their second generation handles back in 2000 and something. With the rubber on it. Which is nice. Here's that other little mini little rake I was I mean little, what you call it I was talking about. This comes in real handy for you just rake this back and forth and it'll break soil up like nothing. It's one of my other ones I like. I think I've got two of those, I'm not for sure. Yeah, I've got a mini ver I've got two of the mini versions of it. This one's a little loose because I've used it a lot. And this one does the same thing, then you turn it upside down like this and it'll break the weeds out too. So it's another weeder. This is the bigger little shovel trowel that I have that goes on one of the handles. I use this on the D-grip because it comes in handy for that. Let's see here. Yeah, I got another one of those. This is my most used one until it's done a lot. And I make sure I wash all these tools off where I use them. Uh, let's see here. Another handle. I think I've got like a bunch of these. They've got two more of these handles. This is another one that's um they got a bigger version of this. I just don't have it yet where you, you got this part for digging and then this part, which I still don't know what that's called. I'm not a expert on that. I've got an extra one. I don't know why how I come around having two, I just did. This is the fork. What I call it, I call it a fork. I really forgot the term of it. But it's another one I like. And I've used it several times. Here's my, uh, here's another one of those big ones. I still don't know why I've got two. This I really, really love. Because what this is, is there's blades here. You never have to sharpen these. I've never sharpened this thing a day in my life. And... To this day, it's still sharp, sharp. And I've had this thing way past the warranty. And what you do with this, is you pull forward, and it'll break the weeds up, and you pull back, and it'll pull the weeds out. And you just do it back and forth, back and forth, and you'll break them weeds up like nothing. And it don't take but a few seconds, you've broke up, broken up a bunch of weeds. This right here, is for edging. You push it all the way down until you hit this ridge right here, and you create, and um, that's where you can dig it in and bring it back out, dig it in. Then you come back around on the other side, do it again, and look the little bit that dirt out, and you create an edge border. It really comes in handy. I got three more of these handles. That one's been, I got a little paint on it. I didn't mean to, I was doing something one time and I spilled paint on it. One of these has got a button on it that is a little stiff for some reason. I don't know why, it just is. This right here, you can actually take the blade off and buy another blade from the company, which I think I'm going to have to eventually because the teeth are worn out on it. But I think I can also run a grind, um, an angle grinder on it and give it a sharpen. Or use the sharpening adapter for my, um, um, for my rotary tool to do it, you know. Because you can take it off and replace it, you know. I don't know where to exactly get the replacement blades at. I think the company might have them, but... Last time I looked on the, the company website, I couldn't find them. And you don't you don't do it like you do a regular hole. You just stick it to the ground and you just barely pull. That's all you're doing. You're just pulling. You're not doing like this. You're just pulling. That's another thing. Um, that's all of those tools that I have. But eventually I will have more coming. Because I might get some of their loppers or something. And have them. I'm not for sure. But I might. But that's all I have of that. 
I just keep it all in the... Oh, I'll show you the big handle. Here's the big handle. I can't fit it all in the shot, but that's the big one. I've had this forever because the name's worn off and stuff. And another thing is with these tools, it, they're called back saver tools because you never have to bend over when using them. So that's another good um, thing about them. Hope you like it. Peace out.